Hey guys, welcome to another IGTV video. I just wanted to hop on here and say thank you to everyone who liked, commented, engaged with my skin cancer awareness content the last couple of weeks, highlighting some of my favorite sunscreens. I got a lot of questions after those posts about the Skin Better Science SPF range, especially the compacts and the new lotion um, format sunscreens. So I thought it'd be nice to um, answer everyone's questions because I couldn't get to everyone individually to hop on here, do a video for you guys, show the finish and texture and why I really like these sunscreens. So I'm gonna start out with my personal favorite and that is the SPF Compacts by Skin Better Science. Here we have the Sheer Compact, which is a non-tinted, all mineral based SPF. All the Skin Better sunscreens are mineral physical sunscreens with very high protection factors. This has an SPF of 56. And then here we have my absolute favorite. I wear this probably almost every day on top of my skincare. This is the Tone Smart Tinted Sunscreen that has an SPF of 68. Again, this is all mineral physical sunscreen with a tone adapting technology. So it really works for Fitzpatrick one to about four. If you're Fitzpatrick five, very deep skin tone, sometimes the tint can be um, a little bit light, um, but it does blend and adapt to most skin tones and all skin types, including acne prone can use this. Okay, so let's start out with the sheer compact. You open it up and you have a really nice mirror here so you can take it in your bag on the go, on vacation, great for reapplying, take it with you to the beach even, it's water resistant. You can rewash the compact applicator or you can toss it after some time and replace it with a disposable one. We can even use a makeup brush to apply these as well. So you can see this one is non-tinted. It comes in a powder, pressed powder cream, I like to call the texture. It's a little bit powdery, it's a little bit creamy, and um, virtually weightless on the skin. It has a really nice, beautiful texture to it. So you don't feel um, any heaviness or weight on your skin when you apply it over your skincare, and you can even apply these over makeup um, without ruining your makeup during the day. So I'm gonna show you the texture and the finish on the sheer. Okay, so I'll just swipe a little bit. I don't know if you can see that, but it's very creamy to the touch. And then when you start to blend it, I'll do it like on my arm here so you guys can see. It has a slightly powder-like cream texture, but it's very smooth, easy to blend in. You can see I just basically pressed it on my skin and it's already absorbed, okay? So, and it feels very lightweight. I can almost feel nothing on my skin there. So this one is great for everyone, quite frankly, for reapplication if you don't want anything tinted. Next up, we'll feature the Tinted Compact. Again, has a nice mirror. You can see I use mine quite often. And then underneath we have the sunscreen. So it's a nice creamy tinted formula. This does blend to your skin tone. You can see I'm a little bit fair and I already have it on my skin and you really can't tell I have anything tinted on my skin so it really does adapt and blend very well to most skin tones i love it because it gives you can use this in place of foundation it gives great coverage but it's very lightweight it's not going to clog your pores or cause any breakouts so it's a great substitute if you are breaking out and you want a little bit of coverage to kind of act as a skin perfecter but you don't want a heavy full coverage uh, foundation on your skin. This one's a little more difficult to show the texture of, but I'm gonna do my best. I'm trying to get enough product to show you guys. Okay, so you can see on my finger there, and I'll swipe it on my other arm here so you can see it. 
Okay, so you can see it has a tint and I'm just gonna gently press it in and smooth it. It's a little bit easier when you do it with the compact. You get a little bit, and I'll apply it with the compact now, you get a little bit more of that airbrushed makeup look. So you can see, it gives a little tint, but it blends really well. Okay, hopefully you guys can see that. A little color, which gives a little healthy color to someone who is pale like me. And I will show you, since I do have it on my skin already, I will swipe it on my skin. You can see it goes on so easily. I have a couple little red spots from breakouts. So you just swipe it. Okay. Very easy to apply. And you can put multiple layers on without feeling like you have too much on your skin. Even go under the eyes if you want to cover up any darkness. Make sure to get the bridge of your nose. Okay. And just swipe it. I go over a couple times just to make sure I have enough coverage. And I also go underneath the chin and down my neck a little bit just so it blends nicely. And you can see it has a beautiful finish, especially if you're taking care of your skin and you have a good skincare routine. You don't need a heavy or thick foundation. You can just use something like this to just perfect what you're already doing. All right. So you can see it's covered up a couple of little of these red spots. Um, you know, everything is smooth. These are just post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation from some breakouts. We all get them no matter how good you take care of your skin. Sometimes it has to do with external or internal factors, but having a good skincare routine and products like this um, can just help you transition and uh, keep your skin looking its best. So I love this compact. It just, my skin feels hydrated and it feels so silky and nice, but not heavy. This doesn't cause any breakouts. I've even used it like during tennis and it's worked great. Um, and then lastly, I don't have the tinted lotion here, so I'm gonna show you the sheer lotion and the texture, but the tinted lotion has the same color and tint as the tinted compact does, just in a more creamy lotion-based format. So I'll show you on the back of my hand, since I already have sunscreen on my face. All right, you'll probably need about two pumps. So you can see it has little bit of a thicker creamy texture loaded with antioxidants so this SPF filters in there will protect your skin from the sun and then the antioxidants will actually give you added protection so you can see it does rub in sheer you just have to work it in and warm it up a little bit and really massage it in like you do with most physical sunscreens but again it goes in sheer, no white cast for most skin tones. If you have a Fitzpatrick 5, might be a little white cast um, on that tone of skin, but Fitzpatrick 1 through 4, the sheer um, should work pretty well for. So if you need a physical mineral sunscreen, you don't do well with chemical filters, the Skin Better range is incredible and it gives you such a high protection factor from the sun, you're really preventing a lot of UV damage from happening. And also the lotions give a little bit of moisture to the skin. So especially if you're drier or more mature, you need extra moisture on top of your skincare routine. These are great. The lotions can work for oily skin as well. You probably just don't need a moisturizer underneath. So that's a little bit more about the sunscreens, the texture. 
I hope that um, helps answer your questions. I don't know if I'm the best at swatching or not, but I tried to show you the finish, the texture, and describe it a little bit more for you to answer um, all of the questions that I received. If you have any more questions, you can drop them in the comment below and I'm happy to answer. And if you wanna email Skin Better Products in general, or if you want to order Skin Better products in general, you can email me at andrew at skinbyask.com and I'm more than happy to help you. Or you can head to shop Skin by ASK and click Skin Better to um, register an account through me and order through the Skin Better website directly. So hope you enjoyed this and found it helpful and I will talk to you guys again soon.